This is just further into integration of trigonometric functions. And we're going to be using trigonometric identities. Hopefully we're really good in the chain rule to solve some integration problems. So that, let's just get into it. Okay, so these are very common exam questions. Um, and so we might look at this and go, oh, I can do a smart substitution and let u equal sine x. But that is not what to do. Okay, that is not what to do in this situation. And I'm not going to go in this video why it won't work, but it, if you try it, it won't lead you anywhere. Okay, so th the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some tools. And I know that sine squared x is the same as half minus cos 2x, like either over 2 or half in the front of that. So that's the substitution that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go a half minus a half cos 2x and all with respect to x and then I'm just going to integrate it. So I'm going to go a half x minus, now I'm going to work on this cos thing here. So the derivative of cos is sine and it's going to be positive so that negative will stay. So it'll be sine 2x and I'm going to put this um, half at the bottom, so over 2. Now, when we integrate it, we do use a little chain rule. We've got to divide it by the derivative of inside of there, so that's 2 as well. And we've got to put a plus c, so let's fix this up. So it's going to be a, a half x minus a quarter sine 2x plus c. Okay? All right, let's get to the next one, cos squared 2x. Well, we're going to use the same identity, um, the same um, double angle identity except the cos version of it, which will be still half, but now it's going to be plus, and it's going to be cos 4x on 2 dx. Because what it is is that this is a double angle formula, and it's double this angle, this angle was just 1, so it was 2x. Double this angle is 4x, okay? So we end up, if we integrate this, it's going to be a half x plus, and now I'm going to work on the cos just like I did before. And so the derivative of cos is just positive sine, so it's going to be sine 4x. And then we've got this 2 down here. So we're going to go 2 times the derivative, because remember, we're always going to, when we integrate, we're going to divide by the derivative, and we've already got a fraction there happening, times 4, and it's going to be plus c, so it equals half x plus sine 4x on 8 plus c. Um, and you can write it whichever way you want. Okay, let's keep going. All right, let's do these ones. Now, I've put this from the formula sheet because that's what will end up breaking it. But the way to do these ones is to actually split them up into the what they originally come from. So sine x over cos x dx. Remember, remember tan x is sine over cos. Now, the, now the thing that I highlighted comes true if we've got the derivative at the top of the function at the bottom, so let's look at if that works for us. I'm going to delete this for a moment. What's the derivative of cos x? It's actually negative sine x. So at the top, we need to have negative sine x, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to put a negative in front of it, and to compensate, I'm going to put a negative out the front. And now I can just use this guy. So I will. So it's going to be minus log of cos x plus c. So it's as simple as that. Okay. Now the next one is very similar. It's cot, and cot is the inverse of tan. So essentially it's going to be this thing flipped over. So let's get into it. So it's going to be, instead of sine over cos, it's going to be cos 2x over sine 2x. Now we're looking at the bottom one. What's the derivative of the bottom one? I'm actually going to write it here 
on the side to keep me on track, so I'm just going to call it u sine 2x. The derivative of that will be 2 cos 2x, okay? So, which means I need to have... See if we, you can see, I need to have a 2 at the front, so I will put that in, okay? But to compensate, I need to put this out the front of the integration symbol. And now I'm ready to go. So it equals half log of sine 2x plus c. And we're really happy about this all. Anyway, that's it. Peace out.